Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Um, this is probably old news, but I just did want to share with you because I did jump on the bandwagon and I picked myself up a Louis Vuitton dupe. This is the Daisy Rose. Uh, I guess the, again, yeah, I guess the dupe for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I would say it's the GM because it is um, pretty big. Um, I don't know if it's easy to tell the size from the video, uh, but yeah, just, you know, if you know the Neverfulls, then the biggest one. That's basically what this one is inspired by size-wise. Um, it is very similar to the LV Neverfull. Obviously, it's got the dark brown and the lighter brown checker look. The only real difference in the overall look is the fact that it doesn't have the little Louis Vuitton in one of the little squares on the bottom right side, how it would normally be. Um, forgive me if the video is shaky at all. I am holding my phone and it will be moving in a second so that I can show you the entire bag and maybe what's inside. Otherwise, there will be nothing else for me to uh, show you guys. <laughs> I did buy, order this from daisyrose.com. Um, I believe they used to sell in Walmart, or maybe they still do. I know Walmart sells uh, LV inspired pieces. They have a brand called Richport, I believe, and 24. There might be another, but I don't re really recall. Um, I do have two more bags coming today. They are from Walmart.com, and um, I think they are both rich ports. I will make a video again for you guys once those show up. They are out for delivery, so hopefully I'll have them today and I'll have those videos out for you. But like I said, I know this is not new really to anyone, but every time I can make a video for you guys with something interesting that I like watching, I try to do it for you. Anyway, that's enough rambling. So this is the front and or back. I don't know that there really is a difference. Let me move up a little uh, of the bag and it is filled. I'm using it today for as my weekender. These are the straps. They're not the best quality. I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, fall over myself, but this bag itself, as I said, I got it from daisyrose.com and it was about $49 and then uh, tax and shipping it is a little bit frayed on the ends and i'll tell you right oops i'm a little blurry sorry i'll tell you right now this is my first time using it and then this is it this is how it looks but i guess you know you sit there and you tell yourself what's really the difference between a dupe and an authentic piece from lv this is just one of those things. Now is these tiny little phrase that are not really doing anything to you or to anyone else <laughs> worth the extra, I don't know what, 2000 maybe? Not really. <laughs> All right, so this is the stitching on the front. It looks really nice. This piece is really nice. I feel like it's reminiscent of how it actually looks because of the shape. It's the same on this side. This is a little strappy guy, a little hook. This is very lightweight, flimsy. I don't want to say cheap because it's not cheap, but inexpensive. And of course you can move it to tighten it, but I only have one hand right now. And then if we give it a spin, this is it along its side. This is how it just kind of looks up here. I mean, you don't expect like top craftsmanship when it comes to this kind of stuff. Especially for the price that it was. Not that nearly $50 is cheap, but I guess it's not the price of a real LV. So it did come bent, as most of these uh, items do, even the authentics. So what's that? No, it's just a little bend and a little dust. And it'll take a while. Like I said, this is my first time using it. It's more or less the same here. A little scuffy. Eh, okay. So more or less the same. If you look at the bottom, there's no feet, but uh, there shouldn't be on even 
an authentic number. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's so hard to do it with one hand. There's no feet. And there's no writing. And there's nothing. All right. And if we look inside, I'm trying my best for you guys. I'm sorry if this is horrendous. I don't have my tripod. I'm back at home with Mama for a little bit. She's visiting, so I'm not in my new apartment with my hubby. So I don't have my stuff. I'm just in my old empty bedroom right now. <laughs> All right, well, okay, so as you can see, these things, they don't kind of stay out because they are sort of just really wanting to live inside. But this is how it looks on the inside when it's all craziness. On one side does have the two slits. They are relatively big. If you go like that, you could fit. And this one's even bigger. It can hold my phone. I'm currently using the Galaxy S23 Ultra, so it's one of the biggest monsters um, to date. This bag did come with this, which is like a little uh, pochette, I guess, and it is attached to the bag as it would be right there, as it would be in the original. This, however, um, it is smaller. It is smaller. The real Neverfuls has a bigger one of this. This is small. Okay, so I'll just push this to the side. I'll put it right here. I'll let it hang on the outside. All right, cool. So, as far as what's inside, I just have this. I'm just going to return this. It was, um, it needs, it's something for the baby. And eh, long story short, nobody cares. <laughs> but we're going to return it because it requires a subscription or something along those lines that we were not aware of. So I'm using my uh, Emily, I want to say, as my standard wallet. This is an authentic piece. You guys may have seen it before a bunch of times. This is another authentic piece who is very filled up. I can barely close it at the moment. It is the Dami Azir, uh, what is it called? Mini Pushet Accessoire. Okay, don't fall. All right, and then, okay, this, this, this is another piece for, from Daisy Rose. So what we can do is look at this piece next to an authentic piece. Oh, what's more is I do have in here, I got this off of the real reel. I'm super excited because I always wanted it and I never got the chance. So this is another authentic piece. This is the six ring key holder by Louis Vuitton. It is authentic from Real Real. So this is the three of them together. This one is old and very used and I would say a little bit dirty, which is kind of gross, but also like it's a light color. Like what are you gonna do, honestly? But it was a very nice piece. I got it for, um, I think like 200. I'm zooming in, only because I'm trying to open it with my other hand. <laughs> so this was a nice made in France piece, which is really nice. Um, the hooks are great. It's a little bit dirty on the inside, but of course it's going to be, keys are dirty, keys are gross. And I got a little boo-boo on my thumb, don't mind it. Um, it doesn't have any of the paperwork or the little cards that say made here or authentic this or whatever but this is it and you know for a used piece it's not the worst thing in the world i'm happy with it the front is really nice there's no like chippage really the glazing really isn't bad if you look at it and again this is um a relatively old piece anyway that wasn't the point the point was <laughs> to look at the comparison between the dupe colors and the authentic colors um, I'm honestly not seeing much of a difference at all the only real difference is this one again because this one's older and a little bit dirty if you look at just these two it's ugh, it's, it's just spot on aside from not seeing any Louis Vuitton Paris written on it at all I personally would not know the difference anyway but yeah so that, that's really awesome uh, it's a really nice piece I haven't used it yet I did only just recently get it. I'll try to open it for you guys. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. I really hope this is not making everybody feel sick. 
this is how it is on the inside. See, it's so new. I didn't even take this little piece out yet. <laughs> it comes with a little wristlet. I don't know if any other real ones do. It's got a little piece of foam in there. I'll keep it in there. Um, and yeah, it's just a regular long wallet. Not bad. It's a little bit stiff. I wouldn't necessarily, um, uh, what should I call it? What wouldn't I do? Uh, be comfy, I guess, with it. It's a little stiff versus like the real ones. Because if you versus that one to the Emily, the Emily is very um, soft. All right, continuing on. It has a little, a little Daisy Rose logo and a zipper. The zipper is really nice. On the inside of this, I just have my little Chanel uh, wallet. Ah, uh, not wallet. Ugh. Chanel mirror. It's in here, I promise. <laughs> so that's what I have in there. These are just some gift cards that I have left over from my spa place that I go to. This is my little, my little key, my little yellow Hello Kitty, whom I'm using at the moment until I put my one single key in my new key holder. This is a cute little, you guys have probably seen this a thousand times on my channel. I have it in a variety of colors. Um, it's just holding some coins right now. Um, and I got it from Amazon. And it's from either, I think it's the brand or the seller is called I Meet You or something like that. So, that's that. And then we have this thing. I just have some uh, little cup. Hold on, sorry, it's falling all over me. <laughs> Can we not? Thanks. Thanks, stop falling. Alright, sorry, sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> I got this off of Etsy. Uh, yeah, it's not doing much. It's just getting dirty. It's right now. It's just holding my charger and some random cards um, This is my sunglasses case. I love cacti. I'm gonna get a little tattoo on my ankle or something And those are just my little Tiffany sunglasses And then I got this from Etsy <laughs> Flipping upside down. I got this from Etsy as well, which is actually really really nice. It's a passport holder I don't have anything in here yet. See that? But it is nice. It has a little slot. You can see like how soft it is just by looking. Um, this is really nice. This is not just like a stamp that can pull off. This is actually kind of indented and you can feel it. So it's more likely to stay. Same goes for the airplane and the heart. This is really nice quality. Just search it up. Pink travel airport, not airport, passport, a holder, and it should pop up. It wasn't that far away from the search. So when it's empty, it just kind of flattens itself. And back into the bend. Let's see. I'm trying to open it up for you guys. It does have the little silica packs <laughs> in here still. I'm sorry, this is so hard with one hand. Anyway, this is it on the inside. It's a really, I uh, wanna say cherry red, I think. The authentic is more of like an, a dark red, like more of like a bloody red. This is very bright. But again, they're not necessarily trying to be Louis Vuitton. They're just trying to be inspired, <laughs> which is cool. Anyway, I cannot reopen it, so this is it, guys. All bent. And this is it. Just whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so that was just my quick once over and what fits and what's in. The Daisy Rose uh, Louis Vuitton inspired never full GM size. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. I do also have a coach purse coming today, which oh, I'm so excited to finally have. I uh, don't really want to give it away, but I also kind of want to give a little bit of a hint. It was a collection or collector's piece item. Oh, in combination or in collaboration with a New York City graffiti artist. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> and I really hope that I get it because it's coming UPS because honestly, like my UPS driver has been like, eh, hate me. But anyway, if and when that comes, I will make a video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful weekend. All right, bye guys.